It gives Hoosiers the ability to choose at a reasonable price. More options to fly out of Indy, causing some challenges at the checkpoints. Now a closer look at an issue that could delay your flight or cause you to miss your connection. New this morning, more people are finding affordable ways to fly out of Indy, Raphael, with more low-cost carriers providing air service. In fact, Lauren, the latest numbers show that people more than ever are using Indianapolis International to travel for vacation or to maybe even visit a loved one. And many are simply just first-time flyers causing a challenge, many challenges at the checkpoints. May I have your attention, Busy, busy place. We're getting in line. This was Labor Day weekend at Indianapolis International Airport. It set the tone for some of the busiest travel weeks ahead. It's a pent up demand that was pent up for the last almost two years during COVID that people want to get out. Who's traveling? has changed. Right now, 20% are flying out of Indianapolis for business, compared to a whopping 80% for leisure. Mario Rodriguez is the executive director of the airport. Competition is fantastic, and now they're competing for a smaller amount of travel. It's creating demand. It gives Hoosiers the ability to choose at a reasonable price. Having low-cost carriers like Allegiant, Frontier, Spirit, and Sun Country set up in Indianapolis has made it cheaper to fly than drive, in some cases, to vacation hotspots like in Florida. Airport officials say with more first-time flyers traveling, they're seeing more bottlenecks at the checkpoints. For example, big plastic bottles are part of the problem. All of these items were confiscated at the checkpoints here in Indianapolis, from the scissors to the meat tenderizer to even this knife. And for every item that is taken at the checkpoint, it delays you getting on a plane minute by minute. So if we could screen 2,000 people in an hour here, uh, I believe we could screen 2,500 people uh, in that same hour. But with this, that slows it down. It does slow it down. TSA estimates it could check 500 more people an hour if the rules were followed. This bin, for example, contains items seized just in the last two weeks of August. People really are in control of their own destiny, and so by properly packing and preparing, uh, they can get through the process quicker, and it allows us to focus on um, people who might uh, have greater need. The efforts to make travel more accessible is the priority. And making sure people depart on time, that will require that they arrive at the checkpoints in compliance. So at the checkpoints, other things to keep in mind, beyond those big plastic bottles, food, your food, is also causing a problem during the screenings. TSA is asking you to place food like those big sandwiches or those meaty sandwiches or packs of granola bars in the bins, just like you do with your laptop. Now, sometimes, Packed food may require TSA to pull your bag and check the contents because they may look like an explosive. If you're traveling with only a carry-on, I go to the dollar store right now and buy the empty three-ounce bottles and fill them with your own shampoo and your hair gel and mouthwash. I found that that's much cheaper than buying the travel size products. Now, if you're traveling with one of those big check bags and you're paying at the checkpoint, just stuff all of that stuff in the luggage to avoid the issues at the checkpoint properly and onboard the airplane, which can cause the uh, aircraft to possibly be delayed, which may affect uh, a passenger's ability to make connections other points than Indianapolis. Of course, most flights are leaving Indianapolis as I speak, so for more details on how to travel safely and easily, go to tsa.gov.